Hi, and welcome to course Learning VMware App Volumes by Pact. This course will be presented by Peter von Oven, VMware expert, and he will be your guide on this exciting learning journey. Peter von Oven is an experienced technical consultant and has spent the past 20 years of his IT career working with customers and partners in designing technology solutions aimed at delivering true business value. During his career, Peter has been involved in numerous large-scale enterprise projects and deployments and has presented at key IT events such as VMworld, IP Expo and various VMUGs across the UK. He has also worked in senior pre-sales roles and senior pre-sales management roles for IT giants such as Fujitsu, HP, Citrix and VMware and has been awarded VMware V-Expert for 2015 and 2016. Over the past 10 years and more, Peter has focused his skills and experience by specializing in the desktop and application virtualization market, and today works for the market-leading desktop transformation specialist, Liquidware Labs. Peter got his first taste for writing when assisting with some of the chapters in the book Building End-User Computing Solutions with VMware View which then led to four other packed titles, VMware Horizon Mirage Essentials, VMware Horizon Workspace Essentials, co-written with Peter Bjork and Joel Lindbergh, and VMware Horizon View Essentials and Mastering Horizon View, co-written with Barry Coombs. Let's begin by giving you an overview of what you can expect in this course. We will start with building and configuring the example lab environment. In this section, we are going to look at the prerequisites that you will need in place for installing VMware app volumes in the example lab environment. The example lab will be used throughout this course and allows you to follow the course instructions and build your own working environment. Moving forward, we will get introduced to VMware app volumes wherein we are going to start by giving you an overview of some of the different methods of delivering applications, and then look at how application layering fits in, before specifically talking about the app volume solution. Then we will proceed to architectural and feature overview of app volumes, wherein we explore and dive little deeper into the app volume solution, its architecture, and the components that make up the complete solution. In the next section, designing and building an app volumes environment. We are going to first look at how to approach an app volumes project, and then look at specifically how to design a production ready environment. We will also discuss the key points that needs to be considered before tackling a project. In installing and configuring app volumes section, we are going to install the app volume software using the example lab environment. We will be discussing what you need to have in place ready for the installation. Moving forward, creating and managing app stacks section is aimed at concentrating on how to create and manage your app stack applications layers. We are going to focus on the aspects of creating and managing app stack application layers. We will start by creating our first app stack and capture notepad plus plus. Next, we are going to look at how to capture Microsoft Office apps and some of the best practice around the capture process before demonstrating this by capturing Microsoft Visio. In this section, creating and managing writable volumes. We are going to concentrate on how to create and manage your writable volumes. We will consider the aspects of creating and managing writable volumes. We will start by creating our first writable volume and demonstrate what that looks like from a user's perspective. App Volumes integration with VMware Horizon View. In this section, we're going to look at the steps for configuring Horizon View and Horizon View desktops for App Volumes application delivery. We will build and configure App Volumes to work in a VMware Horizon View virtual desktop environment. Building the Horizon View environment is out of scope for this course, but to find out more on Horizon View, please visit the PACT website and look for the Learning Horizon 7 and Advanced VDI 
with Horizon 7 courses, deploying app volumes in a Microsoft remote app environment. In this section, a key feature of app volumes is that it is not restricted to working with just VMware technology and products will be covered. App Volumes is not just limited to working in a virtual desktop environment. It can also be used to deliver applications to servers that deliver application sessions or published applications. So in this section, we are going to look at how App Volumes integrated into a Microsoft remote app environment. Moving forward, we will dive into deploying app volumes in a Citrix Zen app environment. As we have previously discussed, a key feature of app volumes is that it is not restricted to working with just VMware technology and products. It is also not just limited to working in a virtual desktop environment. It can also be used to deliver applications to servers that in tune deliver application sessions or published applications as well. So, in this section, we're going to look at how App Volumes integrates into a Citrix Zen App environment. Deploying App Volumes in a VMware Horizon View Apps environment. In this section, we're going to start by configuring an RDSH role on a server that we will use as the provisioning machine to capture app stacks from. As part of this, we will also install the App Volumes agent. Next, we are going to take a production RDSH server and install the Horizon agent onto it, before then assigning the newly provisioned app stack to the same server, deploying app volumes in a Citrix Zen desktop environment. In this section, we will discuss the steps required to deploy app volumes in a Citrix Zen desktop environment. Advanced configuration options. In this section, we will look at some of the more advanced admin tasks for app volumes. We are going to take a closer look at some of the more advanced administration tasks of managing an app volumes environment. Some of these tasks have been labeled as advanced as they are not all GUI driven from the app volumes management console. And some of them require manual steps to complete. Before diving into this course, let's look at some of the prerequisites needed. Users should have Windows or Mac OS. A basic knowledge about VDI and VMware is preferred. As for the goals of this course, first and foremost, you will learn how to build application layering and understand the architecture of app volumes. You will start working with app stacks and writable volumes and understand how to design a successful VDI deployment. The course is designed for administrators and IT teams who would like to take full advantage of app volumes to deal with application workloads. Viewers looking for virtualization professionals and teams who are working on VDI deployments and VMware end user computing solutions will also be greatly benefited. And that concludes the overview for learning VMware app volumes. We continue our journey by diving straight into the course.